17th of August 2024. This news flash, I'm going to talk to about something that is of a big concern to me, and I have mentioned it a few times in of my skid marks, but I need to do this again and to bring it into the spotlight because it is a serious issue. And this affects the black people in the townships specifically and it's a great threat to them and by definition it is then also a threat to us but what you have to take into consideration these vast numbers of immigrants in our country is a serious problem and the only guy that is actually really talking about it is Gaten McKenzie and yes Operation Duda uh, uh, to Dula and things like that, they, they are talking about it. But it is extremely serious and it's extremely dangerous. I'm going to play a TikTok clip of Gaten McKenzie. Now, please take note. It is a long clip. It is about, if I remember correctly, about eight minutes. Do yourself a favor and listen to what he is saying. South Africans, I want you to listen to me like you've never listened to anyone. Your country is being stolen bit by bit. South Africans, we are being colonized by these illegal foreigners. I'm telling you fact. It's time that you open your eyes. You will have no country left. They can still go back home. You have nowhere to go. This is your country. You don't have any other country. We are allowing these people to come here. They have totally destroyed the township economy. Let me make an example. When we grew up, you were sent to say, Han kop ko seker dawi um dani se shop. Tamor ka shukiri ko ko mang mang, ntate mang mang, uncle mang mang. Those businesses are closed. They've taken over the whole township in this, uh, tax shop industry. That nothing. It's very hard to get a local running a shop. And if there's a brave local, they will, 20 of them will come and surround that shop in South Africa. Surround that shop. And then sell the things so cheap that the local must close down. Go to the hospitals. So pregnant South African women can't find beds to deliver while they are sleeping there, chilling nicely. A South African pregnant woman has nowhere to go while these people can go back to their countries. It is a burden on our health care. These people are claiming billions and billions and billions from the road accident fund to such an extent that claims cannot be processed of local South Africans in South Africa. They don't even have a road accident fund from where, where they are coming from, but they are coming here and claiming from our road accident fund. Our rail, I'm going to say it because I see some of you are scared to say it. They have stolen the whole rail system of South Africa. Cell phone tower batteries, substations, they have left nothing. These people are on a mission to destroy our country. And I'm not going to be this leader. So what they've done when they came here, they started funding political leaders. They start giving them money. And now our leaders cannot speak because they've received money from these people. Two weeks ago, we heard that the Somalian and the Ethiopian business people wanted to see us. I said, there's no way I'm going to see them. I will see them the day we will mass deport them. So I want to say to every person listening to this, our country is going. I don't even know how how more or what more to say to warn you. I will steal on the land, biki for biki. They are stealing our country bit by bit. Don't listen to people that says we are being xenophobic. If it means warning you and doing what we are doing is xenophobic, then let me be a xenophobe. I will gladly accept that mental. If you seen our young people, and you know what they do? You know what they do? They, they make our young people zombies. 
so there cannot be resistance when they plan to take over our country is finished. Let me, where have you seen young people are standing and sleeping, standing and sleeping? It's the type of mixture of drugs they're giving our young people. A young person has been, young people have been turned into zombies. Zombies. A man stands and he sleeps. Stand, stand. That's the type of mixture they make. It's all part of a plan to take over our country. South Africans wake up. Go to Soweto. It is just them. I went to the Soweto Mall. All the stalls in Mapunya Mall. It's owned by them. I don't know how, what more to do to warn South Africans that these people are here to come and destroy us and take over our country. Some of them are now standing as councillors, political office. Now, that's how you take over a country. You take political power. They are getting to that. They are selling us expired goods. I, I'm, I'm warning South Africans. Some of you guys, you call yourself clever. They've taken over the drug industry, the prostitution industry, the, 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 the healthcare industry. They are, they are manufacturing tablets. These people must leave. And I want them to know we are not all scared of them. Some of us, like Mina, I will fight. I will lay my life down. My leaf, they are going to leave. Patohamba, mabahambe, they are going to leave. Some of us are willing to die for this. We will fight you. I hear some Somalian told me they will never go back. They are preparing for war. We are not scared. You are, you've met politicians that are scared. It will be war for war. I'm not scared to die so you can leave this country. You must come here legally. You must come here with a special skill. You will never threaten us. That You, you will never leave this country. You will leave this country. <laughs> you see, we're waiting for the elections. We want to win enough votes to make sure we mass deport you. After that, <laughs> You think we are these politicians you guys are paying? These Nigerians that are illegally here, they are here for nothing good. They must go. Somalians that are here illegally, they must go. Ethiopians, Serbians, these Chinese that are illegally here, they must go. We are not scared of you. Never make that mistake to take our kindness to have allowed you in the first place as a weakness. We are not scared of you. They are scared men. I am not a scared man. And I lead people that are not scared. You will leave our country. And these politicians that tell you to find ways to get in here, we will find ways to get them out of power. We'll find creative ways to get them out of power. What is wrong? Now we have crimes like body parts. People dealing in body parts. What satanic things are these? Satanic things. I made this TikTok so you must this TikTok so you must know. Some of us, we will fight for South Africa. Some of us are willing to die, making sure that you live here. Some of us will not sit by and see you destroy our country. Some of us will not see you destroy our youth and turning them into zombies. We will, we will rise up for our youth. We will rise up for our old people that you're selling expired goods. This takeover that you guys are planning, funding terrorism, we will never allow that. Let me tell you something. We will never allow that, that you take over our country. That will never happen. I want you guys to know there are leaders that you can't buy. There's no Somalian or Ethiopian and whatever can say they bought us. That's why we can speak freely and we are not silent. You must go home. We don't want you here. You must go. Leave our country. You will fight for South Africa, I'm telling you. You will never colonize us. You, will ne you can pay other politicians how much, but you will never colonize us. On stands words, beyonds. This is our country. South Africans, you have no other country. People can't even get dates for hospital when they're sick because there's long Zimbabweans in the line. Go and see in Limpopo. These people have they've colonized everything there. These people must go home. South Africa, wake up. Open your eyes. 
You will remember my words when I say they will take over. They are done with our youth. They've made them zombies. They've turned some of them into prostitutes. Let us turn up for our people. Money buys money. Money buys money. Osiko buys. We don't, we're not scared of these people. These people must go home. Some of us, we will lead this revolution to take these people home. They'll go home. Abahambe. They'll go home. Halakhan is to buy a high. Abat Amaye, on Spizani, on Spizani, on Spizani, on Spizani. Now there is a heap of truths that he has dropped on the table. And we need to pay attention to it. I know that there are black people here in South Africa that look at the fuck up in Europe and in England specifically with the migrants and they are thrilled about it. And I promote it and I shout all sorts of encouragements to it. What they have to understand is that these immigrants are triple X soldiers. They are on a mission to destroy the local populations and to destroy the local law and order, to create fucking chaos so that Triple X can take full control over those countries. You must take fucking serious note of this. And here in South Africa, <laughs> it's actually fucking easy to do it because what they are bringing in are black people. And you blacks have been brainwashed with your racism cuck from Malema and his cronies and the ANC behind the scenes. They all are working together to fuck you up. But you are so blinded by the racism shit that you are not really seeing what the hell is happening to you. And Gaten makes it clear. The immigrants is basically, they have expropriated basically the total township economy. They are already extremely prominent in the major malls as well. So they're all over. And they make absolutely no fucking secret about it. Their mission and their aim is to take the country. Yet you cheer for people like Malema, who himself is seriously suspect of not being a South African and his sidekick which has now jumped ship to MK Floyd MK better be fucking wake up the migrant invasion is in full swing and the people in South Africa the masses are fucking stupid they do not see the real danger because they are forced to focus on whites. Now, one thing is for sure, during apartheid, we didn't have a migrant problem. Everyone that was here was here legally and he was working here. Now you are sitting with floods and streams of them. They are devouring your education facilities, they are devouring your health facilities, they are devouring your business opportunities, they are fucking you sideways and you are still screaming after my lemma about racism. When are you going to open your fucking eyes and understand this ANC cabal and the EFF and the DA are triple X puppets and these migrants are triple X soldiers, whether they're in South Africa or whether they're in Europe or whether they're in the UK. The difference is in Europe and UK, they are identifiable. Visually, you just look and you see them. Here in South Africa, they are in amongst you and they blend in with the population. And you are cuddling the fucking snake in your bosom. That snake is going to devour you and eat you up. They are already fucking your children with drugs. They are already stealing your children and cut them up and sell them in parts and pieces. But you keep on with this racism shit. You are going to burn. 
you're going into the realm of Moses 6 verse 13 and it says fuck around and find out and you have been fucking around now you are finding out please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing thank you for your support